The journal Nature has listed scientific areas where significant breakthroughs may occur in 2024. Among them are advanced artificial intelligence tools, breakthroughs in robotics, moon missions, dark matter, theories of consciousness, and super-fast supercomputers. In the coming year, the development of coronavirus vaccines will continue, and the production of mosquitoes fighting diseases will even begin. Climate issues and planet pollution will also remain relevant. In this issue, we will tell you about the most important scientific breakthroughs expected to happen in 2024. It is expected that OpenAI will release GPT-5, the next generation of a large language model underlying ChatGPT, by the end of the next year. GPT-5 is likely to demonstrate more advanced capabilities than its predecessor. Scientists are also closely monitoring the implementation of Google's Gemini. A large language model can process multiple types of inputs, including text, computer code, images, audio, and video. In the coming year, there are plans to release a new version of Google DeepMind's AlphaFold tool, which researchers have used to predict the three-dimensional structure of proteins with high accuracy. The updated AI system will model interactions between proteins, nucleic acids, and other molecules with atomic precision opening new perspectives in the development and search for pharmaceuticals. Countries such as the United States, China, and Japan promise to achieve breakthroughs in key robotic technologies and related high-tech products by 2024. By that time, each country will strive to become a global innovation hub in robotics, attaining productivity and reliability in key robot components that align with international standards. Regarding the robotics industry, it is anticipated that by 2024, the annual growth rates of its operational revenue will exceed an average of 20%, and the use of robots in the manufacturing sector will double compared to current levels. Promising progress in the development of robot technologies and operating systems, countries will encourage industrial innovation and expand application scenarios to meet their goals. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile will begin operating some of its instruments closer to the end of 2024 in preparation for its planned decade-long survey of the entire Southern Hemisphere sky. Using the 8.4-meter telescope of the observatory and a gigantic 3,200-megapixel camera, scientists hope to discover new transient phenomena and near-Earth asteroids. Additionally, the construction of the Simons Observatory in the Atacama Desert in Chile is set to be completed by mid-2024. This project will search for signs of primordial gravitational waves Telescopes will be equipped with 50,000 light collecting detectors, which is 10 times more than current projects. The global program to combat disease carrying mosquitoes will begin producing disease fighting mosquitoes at a factory in Brazil next year. These insects will be infected with a bacterial strain that prevents the transmission of pathogenic viruses and has the potential to protect up to 70 million people from diseases such as dengue fever and the Zika virus. Over the next decade, the nonprofit organization plans to produce up to 5 billion modified mosquitoes annually. For the first time since the 1970s, NASA will launch a manned lunar mission. Artemis II could lift off as early as November next year. Four astronauts, three men and one woman, will complete a 10-day orbit around the moon aboard the Orion spacecraft. Artemis II will lay the foundation for the subsequent Artemis III mission, which aims to land astronauts on the moon. China is also preparing to launch a lunar sample return mission, Chang'e 6, in 2024. If successful, this will be the first mission to collect samples from the far side of Earth's satellite. In 2024, results are expected from an experiment aimed at detecting axions, hypothesized particles of dark matter. Axions are believed to be produced in the sun and rapidly convert into photons. Due to the need for highly sensitive detectors and strong magnetic fields, these elusive particles have not been experimentally detected yet. The Baby IAXO experiment at the German Electron Synchrotron in Hamburg uses a solar telescope with a 10-meter magnet and highly sensitive noiseless X-ray detectors. This enables the tracking of axions and their conversion into photons. Additionally, in 2024, scientists aim to more precisely determine the mass of neutrinos, the most mysterious particles in the standard model of particle physics. At the beginning of next year, researchers will launch Jupiter, the first exaflop supercomputer in Europe. This giant machine can perform one quintillion calculations every second. Scientists will use the machine to create digital twins of human heart and brain models for medical purposes, as well as to model Earth's climate in high resolution. In 2024, researchers in the United States will install two exaflop computers, Aurora at Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois and El Capitan at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California. Scientists will use Aurora to create maps of neural circuits in the brain and El Capitan for simulating nuclear weapon explosions. 
In the second half of 2024, the International Court in The Hague may reach a conclusion on the legal obligations of countries in addressing climate change and make decisions on the legal consequences for those causing climate damage. Although the decision will not have legal force, the court's influence could encourage countries to strengthen their climate goals. Additionally, next year, United Nations negotiations aimed at reaching an international agreement to address plastic pollution will conclude. Zeker, a subsidiary of Geely, has introduced its own high-capacity LFP batteries. They offer fast charging and enable a range of 500 kilometers in just 15 minutes. Zeker unveiled the new LFP battery technology at the Power Day 2023 event in China. These fast charging batteries will be used for the first time in the Zeker 007 sedan, which made its debut in November. The company independently developed new LFP cell and battery technologies, providing an 800 volt electric system for their future electric vehicles. Fast charging will allow achieving a range of 500 kilometers in just 15 minutes. The Zeker 007 sedan will officially go on sale in China on December 27th, with deliveries starting a few days later. Probably, then more information will be available about the capabilities that the new LFP batteries from Zeker will bring. The prototype of the electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft over Air's Butterfly is ready for its initial test flights. The California-based aviation startup has unveiled a full-scale prototype of the electric aircraft. Ground tests for the EV toll are already underway, with flight tests scheduled for early next year. The Butterfly stands out with its large lift rotors and automatic regulation of rotor rotation frequency and blade pitch angles. In the future, this EV toll will be capable of transporting one pilot and four passengers, reaching a maximum speed of 322 2 kilometers per hour and achieving a range of up to 161 kilometers. Butterfly's movement is facilitated by four three-blade rotors, two on the wings and two on the V-shaped tail assembly. They tilt from a horizontal to a vertical position during the transition from vertical to horizontal flight. One of Butterfly's key features distinguishing it from other eVTOLs is the substantial size of its lift rotors. Ground tests are currently underway at Overair's headquarters in California, and flight tests are set to commence in early 2024 at the company's test facility in the neighboring city of Victorville. These tests will focus on validating the propulsion systems, flight control mechanics, safety features, operational efficiency, and the target noise level of the aircraft at 55 decibels. The assembly of our first full-scale prototype marks the culmination of years of industry experience, meticulous planning, innovative developments, and the hard work of the entire Overair team. This smooth transition from power plant testing to a full-scale prototype underscores our commitment to redefine the EV tall landscape with safer, quieter, and more reliable aircraft, said CEO Ben Tigner. The future of technology in 2024 looks incredibly promising. We anticipate breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, medicine, transportation, energy, space technology, finance, and everyday life. These technological advancements will have a significant impact on our world, opening new horizons for human development. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. Goodbye.